Hi guys, Amy here. Ooh, really close. I'll scooch back. I have a new adventure that we are going on. We are going, the E3, the Evans Athletic Adventure family, is going across the state of Washington. We live on the um, northwest part of Washington, all the way over for an adventure in Idaho, and it is going to be awesome and fun. So, uh, anyways, we are going on this cross the state adventure, and we have an issue. And the issue is... This is the first time we are doing an adventure like this without a truck that we want to take across the state. We do have Aaron's um, Chevy Cheyenne um, Super at 1972, which is kind of his, his, it is his daily driver, but it's also his restoration project he's working on. And it is a cute, adorable little car or truck. I love it. However, I don't think it will be that great to go across the country with it because it, it's just a little bucket seat and I don't see how we're going to get all three of us plus our dog and our cat and all that into that little truck. We used to have a quad cab. It was no big deal. It was super fabulous. We had great room in the um, cab and a ton of room in the back uh, in the truck bed. We don't have that. Now we have my Nissan Juke, which I love my Nissan Juke, but it's, you know, a little car. It's a crossover. It's supposed to be, you know, a small little sporty car. So we needed to figure out how we could get all our stuff over from Washington over to Idaho because we're going to stay like 10 days there. So we need to bring some stuff. So I was looking around at a bunch of different like roof rack options. The Nissan Juke didn't come with any rails or racks or anything like that on the top. So uh, I was looking around and I decided that the best solution for us for this time was to get um, a, a rooftop, a soft rooftop carrier. So I ordered it from Amazon and it has come today. So we are going to do an unpacking to see what this is. So I got this big, ugh, giant box and I'm going to open it up and we're going to look inside at all the fabulous fabulousness. So let's put this over here. Oh no. My dog was out here laying in the sun peacefully and now she's gone. I am going to have to go find her before I can continue with this very exciting box opening project. All right, I'm back. My dog was being perfectly lovely and just laying in the shade like she was supposed to. So anyways, she's fabulous. Back to the unboxing. Checking on her, make sure she's still there. Okay. The first thing that I have in there is the Right Line Gear non-skid roof pad for um, soft car top carriers. I heard a dog barking, but it wasn't mine. Um, so this product here, it, as you can see, it says it's a non-skid roof pad. It is 36 inches long, 36 inches wide. And um, I would say it's a piece of fabric that's kind of the consistency of like um, like a heavy duty shelf liner. So it has that kind of stickiness feel. So hopefully, I guess, your soft top um, carrier won't be sliding back and forth while you're driving. So it won't be damaging the paint on the roof of your vehicle. Um, it also is um, fairly um, thick. It has some good cush in there. So it's also supposed to help protect like um, if you have sharp objects and you know corners of boxes and stuff like that in your carrier so helping keep that from um, damaging your roof so anyways continuing on I of course have not used any of these products yet because obviously they just came out of the box so um, I'm just introducing them to you we will test them tomorrow 
we'll see how they work and uh, I'll give you a review. A couple things I do know uh, about this from reading the reviews is that um, it is important to cut it down to the right size. Uh, if it is sticking out from under your car top carrier at all, then it apparently will flap in the breeze and a couple things could happen. One, it could be kind of pushed by the wind or slid down your roof. Uh, so there, it's not doing any, you know, it's not helping you at all. It's providing no protection that way. And two, the edges that are exposed flap in the wind and it makes like, I guess, a banging sound on your vehicle, which would be annoying. You know, our trip's going to be like six to eight hours. That would be super annoying <laughs> to have that going on. Another thing that I heard about these things is that it is really important when you're not using it to store it back in its container. Um, that it was shipped in or something like this. So when you open it up, don't just like rip a hole in the plastic. Just um, just pull apart the staples here and the top should be open and then you can um, slide it out. Because of course it has that kind of um, lightly sticky sort of texture. And if this um, were to get really dusty or dirty, then it would just be trapping dirt in between this and your rooftop and it wouldn't be sticky it would still slide around and be rubbing grit and stuff onto your rooftop so you don't want that so um be sure to keep it nice and clean when you're not using it store it in its bag and make sure you cut it down to the proper size so that's what i've heard so far about this product so uh that's supposed to be used in conjunction with this next thing. This is my uh, roof bag. It's a cross country soft top carrier and it's called surprisingly a roof bag. That's like the name of the company roof bag. So what does it come with? It already it comes with the straps that you need to hold it to your vehicle, which is good. You don't have to buy that stuff separate. I hate it when you buy something and then later on you realize, oh, I was supposed to also get clamps that are sold separately or straps or, you know, whatever. So um, these are the strap for rack or no rack, um, top strap, long strap. That's what both of these say. So that's good. We have the roof bag car top carrier instructions. Very fabulous. Wah. Okay, enough of that. Um, so it, the reason, one of the reasons why I chose this is that it works with or without a rack. I think eventually I'm gonna put rails and probably a rack on my little Nissan because I do want to eventually be able to maybe put my set board on there and, and take it with. So sad I cannot take we, we cannot take our set boards with us this year because we don't have a rack to carry them on. Ugh, breaks my heart. I do have some other stuff that I can use, but still. Um, okay, I digress. So I got this because it will work even if you don't have a rack, even if you don't have rails on your Nissan. And again, I can get those. I think I will probably look into which system I want to get eventually for my little juke, because I love my juke. Um, but as you can see, uh, even if you don't have rails, you can just strap this and it will go through like your windows and um, you'll be okay. It'll still work. Um, so we have the instructions, we have the straps, and then in here we have the bag. Oh. And I l already love the way this feels. So we have this nice bag already. The material feels really strong. It's been like rubberized. It's thick. It looks really durable. It doesn't feel all chintzy at all. So um, I got the size 11. Lose my leg. There we go. So they, they come in different sizes. I got the size 11 for no rack, but I really think 
Mac or no Mac, it's the same. A um, couple things ab about this. I looked for several hours for different, um, or at different systems and different car top, soft top um, carriers, bags. I chose this one for a couple reasons. One, it was made in the United States, which um, I, I appreciate, so I'll leave it at that, but I like things that are made in the US. Um, it has a two, two, year warranty so i always appreciate um, products that have warranties um, it says that it is a hundred percent waterproof not water resistant because water resistant waterproof are two different things so a hundred percent waterproof is something that is really important to me because all my stuff is gonna be you know right there exposed to any sort of weather and it's gonna be exposed to high winds from traveling on the interstate and the highway and all that good stuff and I don't want my stuff to get wrecked or wet or anything like that so waterproof and now I'm not going to be submerging it in water to test it out but I've I've heard great reviews about it people have taken it in really inclement weather and it has worked splendidly for them and they have a directions in there to make sure you know how to position it and use it so it will actually be waterproof things like um, the logo the very fabulous logo where did i put that the roof bag logo needs to be it at the back so it it has things like that you know things like the zipper must be fully closed what else do you need to know about this uh the dimensions it's about it's around eight pounds empty and it expands to 40 inches by 36 inches or 36.5 excuse me 36.5 inches by 17 inches so it's a good size it should fit uh, great uh, someone on there said that the zipper hooks were big enough that you could put security locks on it so you can lock it you don't have to be concerned like if you stop somewhere like if you go into the grocery store um, that people are gonna just open it and take your stuff so that's nice um, the, the only thing I'm, I'm thinking about is how it will affect like my fuel consumption. So anyways, that is the unboxing of my two fabulous products. And uh, tomorrow I will take them all the way across Washington State and over into Idaho. And I will let you know how they work for us. See you soon. Bye. Well, it is the day of our trip. We are ready to go. And behind me, yeah, behind me, you can see the juke is all packed up with its roof bag. Let's check it out. So the roof bag is not completely full as you can see, uh, but it has so far been pretty easy to use. We put the roof pad under it. We've got the roof bag on top. We have our dog eating berries. <laughs> uh, we have the roof bag logo in the back, as they said to do. Um, we have the straps. They have a half twist in them to help keep them from vibrating. Also, we've tied these guys. Hopefully they won't flap too much in the uh, breeze. So, so far, nothing but great things to say about our roof bag. When I brought all the stuff out, my husband was like, uh-uh, no way are we gonna be able to take all of that. And as you can see, it's all in there and it's actually not even full, which is good because we do need to get a couple more groceries a little bit later on. So there we are, roof bag on our juke. Uh, step two done, step one was purchasing it. Step two, loading it up and getting ready to go. Step three, See how this baby works on the road. Let's do this. Well, we found so far, uh, we've only been driving a little bit and it hasn't been an issue at all as far as the rooftop hasn't been making any noise or anything. But Aaron and I switched uh, seats and Aaron is having this issue. As you can see, his head is rubbing on the strap. So I I'm think- I'm already going bald. <laughs> accentuate the problem yeah so i think we can lower the seat but that is an issue you yeah. may have to Tall think people. about yeah see i had no problem at all and my hair is up in a bun and everything it didn't i didn't even notice it was there but hey we made it to our destination we are staying at a lovely cabin here on lake Coeur in idaho we have 
unpacked our roof bag and we have found that it worked splendidly. So the roof bag worked really well. Uh, it kept everything dry. It didn't flap and make a ton of awful noise or anything like that. It didn't budge on the roof. It didn't slide around and damage the roof um, paint or anything like that. So I give this a rating of an A++. So it was a great purchase and I totally recommend it. As I see sunshine, come